So if any of you guys ever notice that Christians don't seem to know very much about heaven, I mean, they don't seem to know very much about heaven at fucking all, dudes. I mean, I ask Christians all the time, you know, what's heaven like? What you gonna do in heaven? You know, what activities are you going to perform when you are in heaven for eternity? And it's amazing how few details they seem to have about this place. Now, they assure me it's gonna be awesome. You know, we swear, dude, it's gonna be the best place you ever fucking thought of in your entire life. It's gonna be colors you ain't never seen before. It's gonna be smells you ain't never smelled before. Streets are made of gold. It's gonna be fucking badass, dude. But when you actually ask them for specific details of what's gonna happen, they don't seem to have a fucking clue. Which is very, very bizarre if you just think about it for five seconds. I mean, this is just me. But I think before I would agree to allow to have my soul sent somewhere forever and ever and ever, I would want to know every single fucking detail about that place that I could possibly know. I would want to fucking know everything. Because otherwise, you never know what you might find. Imagine getting to heaven and finding out that every Thursday was Angel Rape Thursday. Then you'd all be like, what the fuck is Angel Rape Thursday? Then a big burly angel would saunter over, look down at you and be like, Angel Rape Thursday is when everybody gets raped by an angel every Thursday. And you'd all be like, what? Dude, fuck that. I ain't getting raped by no damn angels. And the angel will look down at you and be like, Sorry, dude. Should have read the fine print before you agreed to come here. Now you gotta spend the rest of eternity getting raped by angels. I can already tell you're gonna hate Bestiality Fridays. Big time. You just never know, folks. You just never know. I mean, if the God of the Old Testament is the same God of Heaven, there's no fucking telling what's waiting for you motherfuckers when you get to heaven. No telling at all. This motherfucker is crazy. This is the same motherfucker that killed everybody in those floods. This is the same motherfucker that fed children to bears. This is the same motherfucker that made people cut off the tips of their penises. The same motherfucker that destroyed cities with fire. Can you imagine what he's going to do to you people when he has an eternity to find ways to amuse himself? Getting raped by an angel might just be the least of your worries. That's why you have to find out every detail about something before you agree to it. Every detail possible. Otherwise, you never know what you might be getting yourself into. And it's amazing how few details Christians actually have about heaven. The one single thing that all the Christians I talked to seem to agree upon was that when we're in heaven, we'll be in the presence of Jesus Christ himself and that we will kneel down before him and worship him forever and ever and ever more. Amen. Which to me, obviously, sounds awesome! What could be better than spending the rest of eternity in church? Nothing nightmarishly hellish about that at all, is there? I mean, come on, Christians. Real talk here. None of you really want to worship Jesus for the rest of eternity, do you? I mean, just admit it. You really don't want to do that. That sounds awful, and you know it. If you really thought that worshiping Jesus for the rest of eternity sounded like a good idea, then why do you ever leave church? Why don't you spend every waking second of your free time in church worshiping Jesus? Instead, you people watch movies, and you hang out with friends, and you play video games, and you watch TV, and you do all that other fun shit that makes life worth living. Your own actions prove that you really don't want to spend the rest of eternity worshiping Jesus. You want to be doing other things, and you fucking know it. And, while we're on the subject, that brings up another question. Just how big of a fucking egomaniac is this Jesus character anyway? I mean, I admit it, I'm a fucking egomaniac. Dusty loves to hear people tell him how great he is. I mean, who the fuck doesn't? But even I would get bored with it after about one or two billion years at least. But not Jesus. Jesus never gets tired of that shit. He never gets tired of people licking his ass. What a fucking douchebag, man. Everybody knows he only got that job because he's the boss's son. I mean, we're talking about nepotism here of epic fucking proportions. It's true. So if I really do have free will, and I really do have the freedom to make this choice for myself, then I choose hell over heaven any day. At least in hell, I get to hang out with the cool kids. And besides, an eternity in heaven with a bunch of Christian ass lickers, that would just seem like hell to me anyway, you know? For the cult of Dusty, I am the people's atheist, Dusty Smith, reminding you that God said, let there be light to himself, like some crazy homeless weirdo. Logic. So I'm just trying to pay that toll. I know that at least I was one who stood for peace. And I know that on that day.